It's my life and I could do what I want to Yeah, yeah I make time for the things I like, I like Yeah, yeah Baby, we can do this all night, all night Yeah, yeah, yeah And I only live once, live like this Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Ignore my hair, y'all. Yeah, I know I did my little big chop, but I'm just really going through with my hair. I'm trying to figure it out. We ain't gonna talk about it. This not what that video is about. But today I'm gonna be doing something different and I'm gonna be doing a cook with me. I actually love to cook and lately I've been cooking more often. So um today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my shrimp and broccoli um alfredo. And yeah, so pretty much that's it. And if y'all want to know how to make this dish, keep watching. So right here, I just have some water boiling, getting ready to boil my pasta. And in here, I'm just gonna sprinkle in some salt. I just like to um, salt my water when I boil my pasta. I don't know why I do this. I just see people do it. I don't know what it does. I just like to do it. Okay, so right here I have my shrimp. These are large shrimp. I just peeled and deveined them. Make sure y'all deveining y'all shrimp. Y'all don't want to be eating no boo boo um, on the inside of this part. This should be clean just like that. It shouldn't be nothing on the inside of your shrimp. So I peeled and deveined my shrimp and now I'm just going to season them with salt and pepper and some Old Bay. I'm not gonna put too much salt because it's seafood and I don't think you really need like salty shrimp. But I am gonna put a good amount of pepper and obey. If you don't know what obey is, it's basically like a seasoning that's like, um, I would say specialized for seafood, so like shrimp crab legs and stuff like that so i'm going to give this a good rub so all the seasons are mixed together and i'm going to be back okay so now that my water is boiling i'm going to take my pasta i'm just going to dump it right in and i used peony or peen peony i don't know how to say it but you can really use any pasta that you want and i'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes so when I make my sauce, I like to make my sauce from scratch. I don't like to use the pre-made um, like jarred Alfredo sauce. One, because I found out I'm allergic to ingredients in those pre-made sauces. And two, I think it overall tastes better when you make your own sauce. So to make your own sauce, um, this is optional. You don't have to make your own sauce, but I personally think that it would taste better since this is homemade. I like to use um, heavy cream, Land O'Lakes butter sticks, and some parmesan cheese so in a saucepan i'm just gonna melt start melting my butter and yeah so in the saucepan i'm just gonna melt one whole stick of butter i know some people may think that this is a lot but it's gonna be like a sauce so you want to make sure you put enough butter Okay, so once your um, butter is fully melted, you're gonna start adding your heavy cream. And while we were going, I um, just put a pot of boiling water in the back for my, oh, that's my timer, for my broccoli that I'm gonna boil, but I'm boiling the water first because the broccoli is frozen. And my noodles are now done, so I'm gonna turn those off and then I'm gonna get them out of the water because we don't want them to continue to cook. With heavy cream really depends on how much sauce you're making and how thick you want your sauce. So I like to add about half, like I really never know, but this is like half the container I just put in here. And then I'm just going to let that start to get warm and then we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. Okay, so once your heavy cream and butter has simmered together on medium heat for about five minutes, that's when you can start to add your Parmesan cheese. Now you can really add as much cheese as you, as you want. If you don't like super creamy, um, cheesy pasta, then don't add a lot, but I do. So I'm pretty much gonna add this whole bag. And this whole bag um, is equivalent to one and a half cups 
of Parmesan cheese. So I'm just gonna let this all melt together. And while that's melting together, I'm gonna add my broccoli to the boiling water. Okay, so once your um, sauce is like really nicely combined and everything just looks really nice and if it's too cheesy, you could add a little bit more um, heavy cream to even it out or if it's too like watery for you, you can obviously add more cheese um, to your desire, but this is pretty much how I like my sauce to look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my shrimp in the sauce and let my shrimp cook for about five minutes since they're bigger but um you really don't um, need shrimp to cook no longer than um eight minutes really because they cook fast and they can get like um overcooked easily so um, i'm just gonna let my shrimp cook in here for about five to six minutes and i'm gonna be back in my broccoli this is optional but i like to add a little salt to the water for taste and pepper as well just you know because i like my food to be seasoned in all angles just gonna add a little bit of pepper in there stir that up and while my shrimp is in here cooking i'm gonna add some salt and pepper into the sauce as well i let the shrimp cook in the sauce for about five minutes and that's literally all it takes so i just turned that heat off because i don't want my shrimp to overcook and I'm going to pour my sauce right over my noodles. And you want to get every little drop. I'm going to scrape this real quick. Okay, hey, so after I mix my sauce in, I just mix my broccoli. And this is pretty much the end result. Um, it's super creamy delicious the, the shrimp is done everything just came together nicely so if you guys follow my recipe please like this video comment down below and tag me on instagram at a night forever and i'll repost you but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this semi useful i love you guys so much and i will see y'all in my next video I need you to put a rush up on it like august get a ticket for me i got it that's balling